my friends and welcome back to my channel welcome to another Sunday reset video we're gonna do this one a little bit differently today for today's video I've decided I'm gonna do more of a vlog style I've done one other Sunday reset like this and to be honest with you these are a little bit easier to film and I'm sorry to edit because um, I don't have to do the voiceover piece so it does like eliminate us you know a big part of editing but um, I have a very special um, situation happening right now I actually have the house to myself and that does not happen very often so I am trying to take advantage of the fact that everybody is gone um, and I am going to get my house clean I'm about to show you real quick like how bad it truly is right now uh, can we also address the elephant in the room the hair I just got my hair done last night and I told her that I wanted to go brighter and lighter so I um, I'm old I am 39 year, 38 years old it'll be 39 this year um, full transparency and let me rephrase that is not old I feel old I feel like I got to add some some years on there because I have a bunch of kids but anyway when I went to my hairstylist, I told her, I said, you know, I'm getting like white hairs really bad in like my part right here. And then I get them really bad, like right in this area right here, which I think you can kind of see them. Um, and so I told her that I wanted to lighten up my base because like when I'm a naturally like dirty uh, blonde, um, dark brunette, I don't know, not dirty blonde. It's like a light brunette color, but anyway. Um, I, you can see like the white really, really obviously. And so I was like, is there something I can do to help like get them to blend in because I, they drive me crazy and I can't come any more than, you know, eight weeks because it gets really expensive. You know what I mean? Like, so she was like, well, why don't we just brighten your whole shebang up? It's going to be summer and spring and like a spring and summer. Let's do it that way. And let's lighten it up. And I was like, okay. So she did. So it is a little lighter than I think I was ready for. Um, however, I do have a purple shampoo that I'm going to use in a couple of days. I just need to let the follicles chill um, before I go and put any kind of thing on it. I, I don't think that, I think she toned it a little. I don't know like how much toning actually happened. Um, I just didn't want to go as ashy as I have been going because it to me the ash just makes it feel a little bit darker and so we kept it a little bit like brighter and lighter so I don't know we'll see how it goes but anyway so now I am like full-blown blonde I'm feeling very Marilyn Monroe today I'm gonna show you really quickly how messy the house is but I also just want to show you a couple of updates I want to talk about some things about the house now that we have been here for Let's see, we moved December 19th, January 19th, February 19th, March 19th. Yeah, so we're, we're a little like three and a half months. Um, building has begun on either side of us, so I wanna talk about that. Um, and I just kinda wanna give some like updates to how the house is coming along, if there's anything I would do differently, that kind of thing. And then I wanna talk about some future plans that we have for videos and upcoming things. And then we're also gonna get some cleaning done. I need to make a list of like some things I need to get done that are not just like the everyday and not just like the pick up my friggin' dirty house. So let's go ahead and get started with all of that. So let's start by addressing the weather. It is spring here. It is gross outside. It is wet. Everything is wet and muddy, um, which is, you know, fine. I know that everything's going to bloom here in no time, but it's just wet and wet and wet. So it's dark, but Here's where we're at in the house right now. Pretty messy. Um, I ran some errands. So I'll show you what I picked up at Target in just a little bit. But um, it's not terrible. It's just, it just needs to be picked up. But we, soccer has started and we're just busy like every single night of the week. Here's what's happening in here. I was folding laundry. Um, <laughs> I need to answer, I was sorting socks. I need to answer a bunch of um, emails for um, Charlotte Grove. So we'll do that here in just a little bit. We've got a whole situation happening over there with soccer stuff. It gets a little bit crazy. I have to figure out what we're doing with all of that and where we're gonna store it. I have plans for the future. I'll tell you all about that. Um, and then moving on in here, there's like jackets everywhere. And then I have a ton of laundry that I wanna get done. My sign fell on my potting table yesterday because it was super duper windy. Oh, the mail person's here. Oh, she must have left something on my porch. I wonder what I got. Anyway, we'll check it when she um, drives down the, I don't want to like creep her out. <laughs> We're like seeing me in the window. And then do you guys want to see this room? 
Look at this. Look at this situation. Oh my gosh. So, so much organizing needs to happen in here. I have to figure out where the heck I'm going to hang this dang Dyson because where I thought I was going to hang it isn't working. My calendar still says January and everything is just a hot mess. So that's what we're dealing with in my messy, messy house. Oh, let's not forget. Let's go over this direction to my master bedroom. Ooh, sorry. Look at drawers are left open. My room is a mess as well. Like literally it's a mess and hold on, wait for it. Wait for it. There's all of this, <laughs> which I have yet to put away. Oh, so much mess, but I'll figure it out. I want to be one of them right now. And then let's come here into the master bath while we're over here. And I want to show you, first of all, it's a mess like legit. It's a mess. It's a mess in there too. Don't get it twisted. Um, but a couple of things really quickly. So one thing is we did recently have our, um, our chandelier hung here in the master bathroom. If you remember, I said they couldn't hang it until after we were moved in and had our certificate of occupancy because it's um, against code because it's above water. So um, it's not showing up really well here because of the light in the background, but it is this really pretty cream beaded chandelier with like this rattan right here. Um, it's really pretty. I have to get new bulbs for it because watch this. Ah, I have to get new bulbs. It's like super duper yellow. So I just have to get some new ones. We use daylight bulbs. Um, but that's no big deal. And then another new thing in here is that. Can you see that? There's a house happening over there. And it is really close, you guys. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's not Vegas close, don't get me wrong, but it's close. Luckily, this door right here goes to their garage. So the garage part of their house is close to us, but those windows upstairs, like they're going to be able to see in here. So you can't really see it from our master bedroom, like from our window over here. You have to come all the way to the end of the bed to see it. But if I stand like over here to the side, you know, when I first look back here, I can't see it out of either window. So I guess that's okay. Um, and there is another house being built across the way in on the other side of us, which is all around us, you guys. <laughs> and here's that house. I think I showed you guys this before. Um, that one's not anywhere near as close, but um, yeah, that's going to be another house right there. That house in the back is almost done. Um, so, I mean, we're going to plant some, you know, arborvitaes and things like that, some evergreens over there. So it'll give us a good wall. We'll do the same on the other side of the house, but yeah, there is going to be a house on either side of us. So here's another look at what I'm dealing with you guys. <sighs> Let's go see what we got in the mail. Ooh, it's a big box. You guys, I think I know what this is. I didn't think it was going to be here already. So that was fast. Exactly what I thought it was. It is a robot vacuum and mop. <laughs> so I don't know if you remember in a few videos ago, I had talked about how I wasn't sure if I was ever going to want a robot vacuum. Well, I was contacted by a company, they're called Yeedy, and I was asked if I wanted to do an honest review on their robot vacuum and mop. And I thought to myself, I don't know, like, 
I haven't really had good experiences with them before. Um, and so I talked to Danny and I was like, what should I do? This seems like a great opportunity. It's almost like, you know, they heard me talking about the fact that this is something I should try. And um, he said, let's go for it. Like, let's try it out. We've got a ton of flooring. He was like, it's gonna be really, really helpful. Even if, you know, it, it just, we can run it every single day to help keep the floors clean because they are filthy right now. And I hate, hate mopping the floor. Oh my God, I hate it. I shouldn't say hate, that's a terrible word, right? We were taught we were a little not to say that word, but it's the truth. It's like the only word I can think of to depict how I truly feel about mopping so I'm excited for this and we will clean up and then um, later today we'll get this bad boy running and let's see how it does and if it really does what it says it's going to do I'm gonna be super duper stoked because that's one less thing that I have to do so that's great I was not expecting this today I wasn't thinking this is gonna be in this video I thought it was gonna come tomorrow um, and maybe it would have been in a future uh, well it would have definitely been in a future video but stay tuned for what I think about this bad boy. And um, I think that they also gave me a coupon code. So if it works really well and you guys are in the same situation I am, we'll definitely pass that on to you. Um, but I think it's time that we stop talking <laughs> and we get started. I'm gonna start by getting some laundry going. I'm gonna get my kitchen cleaned up. That is my domino chore. I have told you guys that before. If you guys don't know what a domino chore is, by the way, I should have talked about this in the last video, but um, a domino chore, I actually learned about that from Amanda at This Crazy Life, and um, her and I were talking once, well, she um, talks about domino chores in her videos, and how it's like that chore that like jump starts your you know, house cleaning or whatever it is that you're doing. Um, fun fact, Amanda actually helped me launch my channel, so um, she probably doesn't even remember because She's, you know, giant and phenomenal and wonderful and busy. And um, if you don't follow her channel, This Crazy Life, I'd highly recommend it. I love her channel so much. I get so much inspiration. Um, she had posted about my channel on her Instagram and it helped push me, you know, over the threshold to be able to monetize my channel. And I'm so thankful for that because um, it's been very helpful. And, um, I, I just feel like I owe so much of my growth to her. So, and I also owe the the phrase domino chore. I don't know if she coined coined it, but um, it's who I learned it from. And so that is my kitchen for me is my domino chore. So, I'm gonna get that cleaned up, and I'm not gonna bore you with all of that. I feel like I, I'll constantly show myself cleaning my kitchen because I'm always cleaning my kitchen. Um, and then we'll get into some of our other chores. I hope you're liking this vlog style. It's fun for me. One other thing before I get started with cleaning up, I wanted to show you what I picked up at Target really quickly, just a couple of tiny little things. I just ran in um, before my nail appointment to take a look at um, their dollar section. So one of the things I picked up was this adorable towel. It was five, well, towels. It was $5. It says plant, grow, bloom. I thought it was super cute. This is what the other side looks like. and. Just so you guys know, I am a sucker for tassels. So <laughs> if it has tassels on it, I'll probably get it. But I loved just the simplicity of the colors and I thought it'd be really cute in my kitchen for spring. Um, I also picked up this little $3 wreath. It's like super duper light, um, but let's see what it says. Just says garland, which I guess if we unwrapped it, oh. Maybe that's the situation. You unwrap it and it's garland. I don't know. I thought it was a little wreath. I liked it for the wreath, but who knows what we'll use this bad boy for. I don't know. You can't ever go wrong with enough greens. Um, and then I also picked up this little stand. I don't know if it's called a plant stand, but that's what I plan to use it for. Wood riser. Yeah, I guess that works. Um, and I was thinking, I don't necessarily love the black, um, but I might paint them a different color. We'll see. And then my most favorite item, oh, excuse me, sir. I'm trying to film here. Could you be a little quieter? Lion? <laughs> like, no, ma'am. No, I cannot. Um, my most favorite thing that I picked up today is this garden gift set. Oh, my goodness. Can you even? It's this really sweet little apron and some gardening gloves. So I, I loved the... Um, colors and the flowers and I just thought that this would be really great for my potting table outside and I actually have some plants that we need to repot today that's on my list of to do's so enough chatting 
let's get into doing some cleaning actually. to get started on the kitchen and I realized I have not eaten any lunch so I am starving um, so I am going to eat some leftover taco soup um, I posted about that I posted excuse me about this on my insta story um, a couple of days ago um, and basically this is like the easiest dump meal in your life if you don't know what a dump meal is that's where you like literally just dump things into something like a crock pot or a pot. Um, this was made on my stovetop and it's literally just ground beef, um, a can of diced tomatoes, a can of diced, I'm sorry, a can of black beans, a can of corn, um, taco seasoning and ranch seasoning, and then um, beef broth or chicken broth. And it just turns out to this beautiful taco soup. You can top it with whatever you want. We like to top it with some Cool Ranch Doritos, um, cheese, avocado, Cholula, hot sauce, right? Um, you can put, you know, whatever you want on it. Fresh pico de gallo, sour cream. Um, the list goes on and on, but I'm gonna heat this up. I'm gonna ground myself some cheese. And while I'm eating this, I'm gonna go ahead and respond to those emails, and then we'll actually get into cleaning. I, it's 12.24, and I feel like I've done nothing you guys i am super i'm motivated i just um having an adhd day guys i'm all over the place and i have got to center myself so i'm hoping some food is gonna help that so let me eat
Okay, so it's like two o'clock now. I feel like I have just been kind of a bum like as I'm going about today. Um, but that's okay. Like sometimes that's what Sundays are for and you just gotta like relax and you know take it easy. So I'm going to pot my uh, propagated plants here in just a second. Um, so I wanna show you uh, what a rooted propagated pothos looks like right now. I have a bunch of cuttings all over my house. I'm gonna show you what a rooted one looks like and then we're gonna plant it. Okay, so like I was showing you, this is what they look like once they've rooted. So here's an up close of the root. It's ready to go. Now I could let this sit in here and you know root up longer, but I don't want to. I wanna get these potted. So I'm gonna go ahead, I think I'm gonna put all three of these in one pot and then I also need to repot two other plants. So that's what we're gonna go outside and do right now. Okay, so here they all are. They have been repotted. So this is a dracaena, dracaena and um, I had it up in my windowsill, but it was getting a little burnt, um, which if you can see that right there, if my camera wants to, which it doesn't, um, want, doesn't want to, um, there we go. There it is. So this is a dracaena. This pot is from Hobby Lobby, and um, I don't know if you saw but I did put rock at the bottom, um, two big handfuls of rock from my um, front yard, and then I put the dirt on top, and that's because this doesn't have drain holes. So you could drill drain holes, and then you'd be fine, but it's gonna be indoors, and so I didn't wanna worry about it. Um, this is a rubber plant, and I've had this pot, I used to have, sorry, the dishwasher is legit right here, probably could have stood somewhere else, but um, <clears throat> I had a crispy wave in this, but I killed it. <laughs> And well, I didn't kill it, but it stunted its growth. So I needed to repot this um, rubber plant. It's the one that I had right there and it was just way too big for that pot. So I needed to repot it. So I put it in this one so it can get nice and big. I have another one over here, which I have already repotted and it's definitely grown a heck of a lot bigger. Oh my gosh, my camera. I need a new camera folks, but anyway. Um, so I repotted that. Now I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it. And then I put the cuttings in this little tiny pot. So just a little pot because I need it to grow. And then once it does start growing, I'll repot it. So speaking of needing to repot, this pothos here is gigantic. It's got a ton of new growth. I need to repot it, but I need to get a bigger pot. I don't have one for right now. So it's gonna stay the way it is for right this second until I get it into a bigger pot, which I thought I was gonna put it in this one but I really needed to get this rubber plant into a bigger pot. So the other thing I wanted to show you is this plant spray from the Modern Farmstead. Um, if it will, like I'm about to give up, there we go. Um, it is a essential oil 
plant spray that you spray on the leaves. So a plant like this rubber plant here needs to be like um, misted regularly because it gets really dry. And so I missed it um, maybe twice a week with this spray and it's been doing so well. It's so happy and healthy. And my one over there has like a ridiculous amount of new growth. So um, it's looking really happy and healthy. And I've been misting um, uh, my other plants too, like my Monstera and um, my Ivy. And then I did, um, fertilize these new plants with a little bit of indoor plant food. So I just put one little squirt into some water and um, that just gave it a little bit of plant food since it's in brand new potting soil. So now I'm gonna go find a home for these. So I put it back where it was and I actually think it looks pretty cute. It's nice and full. I also wanted to show you this adorable um, wooden spoon that my mom sent me. This is from one of, so my mom makes and sells things in um, a local shop where she lives in Colorado. And um, this maker is, I think it's called the Sunflower Market. And this is like burnt into the wooden spoon. It's just, the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life and so my mom had purchased it for me and sent it to me I also have my copper zester in there I just love it so much okay camera you're like really making me mad here but there it is this is what I've got going on in here and then we'll go put the dracaena back in my room Okay, so it is getting late. My camera battery is dying. It's like blinking at me. I'm gonna go fold all that laundry back there. I'm gonna flip over more laundry. Danny and the kids should be back shortly. So we're gonna do a pizza night tonight. We're gonna make homemade pizzas. I think I'll take you guys along for that. And I um, hope you guys are enjoying this vlog style um, Sunday reset. Okay, so I'm back from the grocery store. Danny is here now. Say hi, Danny. Hello. Really? Hi, Danny. <laughs> It's, it's like, been a while. Give the people what they want. I know, it's been a while. <laughs> um, okay, so I am um, going to show you what I picked up from the grocery store for our pizza night tonight. So I picked up these pizza doughs. They're ready made pizza doughs. Um, our, I purchased these at Price Chopper. I don't know if you have that by where you are, but, um, or Market 32 is what it's, you know, also known <laughs> as. There's other ones. Anyway, they're $1.99. They have like, they make their own pizzas in their, um, like ready-made food section. So we're going to try them. Hopefully they're, you know, somewhat decent. We got, um, sliced mozzarella. I got goat cheese and prosciutto because I'm going to make, um, a goat cheese prosciutto basil and balsamic glaze and some um onion that i have to what's the word i'm looking for uh what are those things danny that you put on like on uh, where you put the onion in the pan and you wait till it's like caramelized. caramelized oh my gosh has it been a long day dear this is what happens to me. Okay, so I just need to pour a glass of wine and I'll be fine. Um, so I got goat cheese, like I said, for that. Um, some pepperoni, because Danny wanted pepperoni pizza. I needed uh, extra virgin olive oil because I just used the last of it the other night. Some mozzarella cheese, hopefully that's enough. I probably should have got three of those. Um, I also got pizza sauce, but I got pizza margarita sauce because I want to do margarita pizzas and this is perfect for all of the pizzas, but, um, it'll be good. You don't want to use just regular pizza sauce for your margarita pizzas. So, um, and then of course it's, you know, it's the weekend got to do a dessert. So we're going to do some brownies. So I'm going to get those in the oven and then, um, figure out what we're doing here. 
The boys just brought down their laundry, so I'm gonna get that going. And don't forget, we still have to try out the new robot vacuum. So still gotta have plenty of time for that. So I was just reading the instructions on the back of this, and it says that we have to let it sit and rise for 45 minutes. So I'm gonna take each one out and put them in a bowl and let them rise for 45 minutes. Okay, so while I was doing stuff in the kitchen, Danny is helping me <clears throat> open up the robot vacuum. Oh, it's white. Is it white? Even better. I was telling them, Danny, our viewers, that you were the one that were like, yes, let's go ahead and do it. I told them how I asked you first. Oh, yeah. And if we were sure if this was something we wanted to try. Yeah. So, oh, that's nice. One. And this one, we got you did? Of... I felt like it didn't always like do the best job, but maybe that was but just me. But here's the thing, like, it, it, it still kept everything more clean than what it is. Yeah, so I guess that's true. So, it was well, nice, you know what? Nice this one has pretty good reviews, so. Yeah, it's nice. It's oh, pretty it nice looking. I like, too, right? yeah, it does mopping too. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna need to read the directions and see how to get this bad boy going. But, uh, let's do it. We just plugged it in it says it's got to fully charge before we use it so we just read the full instruction manual so that we know what we're doing it comes with um, a mop 
And then it also has these um, five different mop heads. So I'm assuming this comes off. Yeah, so it's velcro -y. It recommends that you wash the mat after every use, which makes sense because that's what I would do if I were using like my regular mop. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna put these in the cleaning closet for now until it's ready to be used. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use it until tomorrow. Yeah, it's at because six and a half hours, I think. Six and a half hours, and it's super late. And the first time you use it, you have to let it do like the whole space because it's mapping out your home. So it might have to get used tomorrow. So I might have to end this vlog tomorrow with some of that footage, so. Yep. We're gonna start making pizzas here in a second, so I'll show you what we make. Hey, hey!
Okay, so it's the next day. I have been using this thing all day today, allowing it to map out my house. We also received the auto empty station. So what it does is when it goes back, you can just, you can automatically set it where it auto empties or you can leave it to, you know, wait until you press it, but it empties it all out into this nifty little bag up here. So as you can see, it's got some stuff in it cause I already emptied it. Um, otherwise it has, the little thing on the inside right here that you just take out and then empty it out, which um, I showed already. Um, I emptied it out in the middle of while it was working and then again um, when it was done. And then I just ran it again to help it like fully map my house and um, I auto emptied it because I wanted to see how it works. So, so far, um, I am loving this thing. I have to tell you that I am thoroughly impressed with how well it is working. It did my carpets really, really well. It went back and did the areas of the house multiple times to make sure that it got all of the stuff and it vacuumed up so much stuff. It ran for 134 minutes, the first cleaning session that it did, and then it was done. It did not run out of battery, did 1200 square feet, it told me, and it, it, it just, I'm really, really impressed, so. There will be a link down in my description box so you can check it out if you're interested and if you need um, or want, it's not a need, if you want a uh, robot vacuum. And if you have any questions, you can let me know. You can order this on Walmart, Amazon, or directly from the Yeedy website so you can get it really quickly. Mine came, um, it said two days, but it came in only one. So highly, highly, highly recommend this robot vacuum so far. If anything changes as I'm using it more, I promise I will update you as I always have. And that's it, my friends, for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog style video. It was a lot of fun. Don't mind my hair. I haven't even gotten to, I washed it today and haven't even gotten to curling it because took the kids to the park and it was just really, really windy. So there was no point in even trying to do anything with my hair today. But that is it for this Sunday reset video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a lot of fun like I did. This is fun to change it up a little bit. Next week we'll be back to the normal programming. So hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.